little known fact about having to be a farmer is that you got to go get feed for your animals. Ain't that right, Nathan? Yep. So right now we on the way to go get some food. What type of what type of food are we getting today? Pre con it looks. What what's the, what's animals eat that? Cows. So pre con and ultra food. If y'all don't know what that is, that's the blow them up, get them looking right feed. Ain't that right, Nathan? That's the get, the get right feed. The get right feed. It's gonna make them things plump. They're gonna look like a watermelon in the middle of the summer by the time we get done with it. So we're gonna roll on and get some feed, and then we gotta go back and then feed the cows. But that's what we're working on right now. All right, now when it comes to being a country boy, I'm pretty new to this, but you know, I grew up being a country boy, so I still think I got it way down deep in my mind and in my heart. First off, you gotta look the part, all right? First off, you always gotta have a good hat. Me personally, I go with the Carhartt. You know, it's real durable, and it makes me feel good on the inside. Next, going from hat to shirt, you always gotta represent your operation. This is 3P cattle. I'm the fourth P that no one talks about, but hey, we may have to change our logos because I'm back home now. Next off, Blue jeans. I don't care if we're in South Mississippi, it's 80 degrees every day. You gotta wear blue jeans if you're gonna be a country boy. And next, god dang it, you gotta have some boots on too. Let me tell you what, because if you're stomping around in cow crap, building fences, jumping rattlesnakes and puddles, you gotta make sure your feet are secure. Now, another thing that people don't like to talk about very often is the fact that if you're gonna be out here country bumpkin and around, building fence and messing with cows, you gotta stay limber. So, the best way to do that, everybody knows, you gotta do a little Texas two-step, get your legs nice and limbered up now. You also gotta pra practice your roping. You gotta practice your roping, get your arms nice and loose. <laughs> and that makes sure you're ready. Whether you drive a fence post, hauling cows, or loading sacks of feed, you're ready for whatever may come. Now, if you look behind me here, we've got what I like to call our grocery stalls. These here are steers that will end up in somebody's belly, hopefully mine. But see, we got here pork chops, backstrap, and that little turd right over there is lamb chop. And they're going to be some real fine ones. We just got to get them a little bit bigger. They ain't getting the pre con and stuff that we got earlier. They're getting regular feed, though. Swell them up feed, if you will. Now, if you want to follow me over here, what we got over here, this right here, the cream, the cream of the crop, if you will. These right here are gonna be some halter breaking heifers and one bull. And these here, some beautiful, fine looking animals right now. Uh, if you're in the market for a cow, if you want to show a cow, you want to pet a cow, these are the cows you want right here, I guarantee you. They're gonna be some good, fine looking animals. Uh, as you can see, they don't really want to get too close to me because they know when I come out here, it's it's time to bear down and it's time to get some work done. But uh, yeah, that's what it's like being a country boy around here. Uh, we work hard every day, and this right here, this is what country songs are written about. Let me tell you, we we got our boots on, our blue jeans on, and we're ready to get to work. I appreciate you hanging out with me, letting me show you what it's like being a country boy out here. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video I made. Uh, I had a ton of fun making that video, I had a ton of laughs as well. A friend of mine wanted me to make a video talking about what it's like being back in the country, and uh, I decided to do that instead uh, this morning. So that's what we came up with. Really hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, honestly, the only thing I wish I could have added was putting out there that I'm just out here trying to find the yee to my haw. And if you think you're that person, or maybe that person, or may know someone who may be that person let me know <laughs> uh i'm really just out here trying to give people a laugh um whether they're stuck at home all day or whether they're having to work long hours as an essential worker and then coming home i just uh, want to be able to put out some content that is entertaining and people can laugh at and enjoy so if you enjoyed it feel free to leave a like on the video uh drop a comment let me know if y'all have any ideas of things for me to talk about and or do since i'm doing like actual videos now <laughs> i'd really appreciate that and as always feel free to subscribe to the channel to know when i post new videos thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace now a little known <laughs> <laughs>